In today's video, I'm going to show you my top five motion sensor ideas for your smart home. A lot of people use motion sensors for home security. So if a motion is detected, if an alarm is armed, any motion will trigger an alarm to be set off, not only to ward off any intruders in your home, but also to alert you. But motion sensors can be used for so much more than this. They are able to trigger routines in whichever ecosystem your smart home uses, whether that is Amazon Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit, or Home Assistant. Make sure you stay tuned for number one, as this one may surprise you. So now let's get to the top five. Number five. So number five is a morning update. This is great for work days. For this, you would need to set a motion sensor up in your living room that is only programmed to trigger once a day around the time you wake up. And when you first enter the room, you set up a routine to give you an update on the news and traffic information on your way to work. This is really handy as it could update you on any road issues that could affect your journey, possibly making you late for work and getting your day off to a bad start, so that you are able to take an alternate route. It's a great way to take stress out of your commute, as well as keep you up to date with current events. Number four. Number four is under kitchen cabinet lights. These are really handy because you can trigger them with a motion sensor in your kitchen. These can be triggered to activate by a motion sensor in the evening. It just means that when you go into the kitchen in the evening to grab a quick drink or a snack, then you don't have to switch the lights on. You're able to see what you're doing by the under cabinet lights. I really enjoy this if you're watching a movie in the living room, so you have the lights kind of low anyway. Well, at least I do. But then when you go into the kitchen, it's not too much of a shock. The LED lights look really nice and they create a really nice atmosphere. And you're able to create a lot of different atmospheres using the different colours. This is a really quick and easy automation to set up. I set this up using a routine in the Alexa app and it was really simple and easy to do and I'm really happy with this automation. Number three. If you need to go to the bathroom through the night, then you may not want to be woke up too much and blinded by harsh lights in your bathroom when you're tired. By setting up a motion sensor inside your bathroom, then you are able to trigger a routine where your bathroom bulb lights up at a much dimmer percentage. This is not only energy efficient, but it will also make you feel like you're not under interrogation when you nip to the bathroom in the night. And hopefully this will make it easier to help get back to sleep. And another option you could add to this is putting LED lights and a motion sensor under your bed. So when you first step out of bed to go to the bathroom, then it's able to create a dim light on the floor, which isn't going to wake you or your partner, but is also going to help you sort of navigate your way to the bathroom, if that's something that you would find useful. Number two. So this was going to be number one. I did go back and forth on this one, but I decided to keep it in the number two spot. So why just trigger a light on when you could set up a routine to switch on an entire room? I have this routine to trigger when my family arrives home from work or school in the evening. So when someone walks in the living room, a motion sensor is activated, which triggers a routine to turn on my media wall smart lights from Ikea, my LED strip by Govi. It also switches on my TV and my fire stick, and it even switches on my fire. This automation requires a Broadlink RM Pro, which sends an infrared signal to switch on my TV and also switch on my fire. Before we get to number one, I just want to thank you for watching the video up until this point. And please like this video and subscribe to the channel so more people get to see these videos. Number one. So number one, home security. Don't turn the video off just yet. I've not gone crazy, I promise. Let me explain. So the advantage of a smart home security system is that not only will your motion sensors trigger an alarm to scare off burglars, but if this was to happen during the day when you're not home, then you're also able to trigger a notification to be sent to your phone so that you can be updated on what's going on. From there, you're able to check on any cameras you have inside or outside of your home to see what's triggered that alarm. So I will leave a link for the motion sensors I recommend in the description below for anyone that is interested. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out my top five home automation ideas for contact sensors that video is here. If you would like to contribute to the channel, I will leave a link for my Patreon in the description box below where you can come and chat and get previews of upcoming videos. 
Until next time, thanks for watching.